another one. How do you deal with cookies and automation testing? When testing web applications with automation testing, tools such as Selenium WebDriver, how do you deal with cookies when executing your tests? If we look from a user's perspective, it's likely that the user already pressed accept or decline on the cookies question on their preferred browser and website. I'm currently trying to better my skills and mindset around software testing. My question to all of you experienced testers, how do you deal with this when scripting automation tests? Cause it's most likely to not be something that pops up for a regular user that accepted or declined the cookie once, right? So that's a good question. And it's already clock. So the way that the way that this works when with cookies and stuff like that. I like what a lot of times when when, when doing automation testing, it's going to open a, a a brand new instance of the browser. So it's like it's never been used before. And when you go to the website and if there's a cookie pop-up, it's gonna show up. And you're going to have to address that cookie pop-up based on how the site is built. So once you accept it, it should, um, whether you declined or whether you said accept all or accept some, whatever the case may be, you're going to say um, it's going to store a cookie. And now there are a couple of things that, that can happen. Um, depending on how you're trying to, like what tests you're trying to run, I would say, first thing I would do is I would tap into the cookies like that are being stored and say, okay, do we have a cookie existed for what I chose? So if you want to test cookies, if you click decline, what happens when you click on decline? Does it like not store any cookies at all? Um, and you're, you're going to query or does it store a cookie that says do not store cookies? Like weird, but so I, I would say query like the cookie for that that site is setting and see what, what the value is. And then when I click on accept, does it store a cookie to accept all cookies? Um, or if I click on another option, what, what does it do? But if I don't click on anything, what does it do? So that's around testing the cookies itself. itself. Now, the other thing is, if you were to, if you were to um, see, I, I wanna see if like, if the pop-up is gonna happen a second time if I navigate back to the site. So that means I cannot just close the browser or like just run the test over again. I would have to say, okay, I'm going to close like, within the same session. I'm going to close the browser. And then I'm going to open it again after accepting the cookie and see what happens. Or I'm going to decline. Like, so you do the same test over again, like to see if the cookie was stored. And if you want to see the performance of the cookie on the site, then you have to say, okay, if I, if I close the browser and I go and I open it back again and I navigate to the page, what happens? It should not, like based on the requirements, it should not pop up that cookie thing again because I'm still within the same browsing session and it would tell me and then and then i would still check, check the cookies make sure that nothing is stored and everything like that so that is a that is a strategy that i would use when i'm doing automated testing and i have to deal with cookie management it's um something that you have to think about when you are when you are doing automated tests you are just automating the manual test that you do because everything that I just said here, that would be a viable manual test, right? So if you're if you're like if let's say you guys are implementing um, cookie management, and I would do all those things manually, and once I see how it's working manually and I understand it, then I would go back and say, okay, now I'm going to automate it. So now when I say, okay, I open this website and it pops up, and it says, okay, we're, we're going to store cookies. I'm going to Whatever option that I choose, I'm going to say, okay, now after I choose this option, I want to get a list of the cookies and see, okay, the one that I chose, like, is it storing the cookies when it shouldn't be? Is it, um, you know, that same test that I wrote out manually? I have to transfer that to an automated test. And that's the mindset that I approach when I, like, that's how I think about, um, that's how I think about when I'm doing automation um, based on the features that we're implementing. What did I have to test manually? And what is the best way to automate that so I don't have to, um, so that now the next time I can just run this script, I can just run this test and then I get the results and it's getting the right validation. I don't have to worry about doing the same steps every single time we are, we're releasing or deploying. Um, so that is my strategy that I approach when doing, um, that's my strategy when, I, when, I, when I'm doing automated tests for whatever type of automated tests, but this one just seems to be 
in particular to um, to cookie management. And it's, it's honestly not a big deal. It's pretty simple to deal with cookies, whether I'm just clicking on... The, see, the challenge becomes when, they, when it randomly pops up the, these error messages, how do you deal with that? And at that, that point, you might need to do some type of threading that says like polling. If this end up, ends up showing up, then you're going to click that. But if not, then we keep going. So, um, so yeah, so, so that's basically how I would deal with it. All right. So that being said, we are going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.